Welcome back. In this session, we're going to start drawing our animals for our Henry Rousseau painting. We just finished drawing the orange tree, and if you open up your picture now, you should have four trees on the front side and four blank spots on the back side. Fold your paper back up so that you have the blank spots. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw four different animals on those spots. We're going to start with a tiger. We just got done looking at that as part of our PowerPoint. So tilt your paper sideways like this so we get a long, um, long horizontal direction there. And we're going to start with the same basic shapes that we talked about during the PowerPoint. You're going to start with an oval, something like that. Then you're going to draw another oval. Starting about right here, you're going to draw the oval down like this. Okay. Next, you're going to draw a triangle so that it kind of overlaps inside that oval just a little bit, like this. And you're going to bring it up to about right there. Okay, so you've got the first oval, the second oval, and the triangle. Now, with these basic shapes, we're going to start to erase them and make them a little more specific this line right here we're going to change it a little bit we're going to kind of swoop it up like this in the middle and you're going to take this line here and erase it okay so i'm going to take my eraser and just erase that part okay now i'm going to draw the bottom part of the tiger's jaw here by just doing a curved line like that so that's kind of the bottom part of his jaw. Now I'm going to put his teeth in, nice big teeth, Arr, like that. And then I'm going to shade in this part of his mouth. Okay, I'm just going to use my pencil to kind of shade that in. So we know that that's the inside of his mouth. Okay, now um, you can actually take this part of your oval, the top part of it, and erase that. Okay, so take your eraser and erase that top part of your oval. We don't want that in there anymore. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to work on the nose. The nose part is right here. Um, the the nostrils of the nose kind of come curved down like this into the middle and they look like these little just kind of almost like teardrop shapes like that and then the top of his nose here it's usually a little on the curved side and if you want to you can do like a little V right underneath there where his nose kind of ends okay now the top part of his nose up here um, is it's defined more or less by the shape going up to that point and you don't need the lines to be very dark but on a, on a real tiger you would see that like nostril um, area going back up to here where his eyes are now his eyes are very much like little football shapes but they're tilted to the side you know a football would be horizontal kind of like this okay but we want to tilt them so they're on a diagonal so curved line up this way curved line up that way okay and then the other side um, curved line up this way oh that's too sh close excuse me and a curved line here and a curved line down that way okay then there's the colored part the iris is a circle and then the pupil the black part is straight up and down usually like that whereas humans they're round um, cats like tigers are usually the iris is straight up and down and with goats that's usually horizontal I think so different for different animals then we're going to take two little ovals right off the eyes kind of over here and this is for the ears and make sure that they're kind of more thin like that 
so they don't look like Mickey Mouse, you know, because Mickey Mouse has like round, circular ear ears. You want your tiger ears to be more pointy. And then the inside of them is usually darker. The fur is darker and it's a hole, so it gets darker just because it's a hole in there. All right. Now, just like we looked at on our, um, on our PowerPoint, we're going to draw just the neck and the feet, and we're going to hide him behind a tree later on. So start here and draw a curved line out, down like that. And then his one curved line up here like that for his belly. And then this one here is going to come up. We're going to draw another line here and curve it up into this one so it looks like that's the other leg. Now the back comes here right off the top of the head, but before we do that, we're going to do this little curve in like that that makes it look more like a cat skull. Okay, kind of curves in like that. And then erase that little bit right there. So it looks more like a cat head. Okay, and then we're going to take his back off this way and curve it down a little bit for the neck and then right over the shoulder right over the the legs here the shoulder bumps up and then it comes back down into his back all right then a little extra details that makes it look more like a tiger um, whiskers come right off the edge here and here Um, and they do have like little fuzzy hair it comes off the edge there so I'm going to kind of erase this curved line along the edge of his face and put the little like not they're not whiskers but it's like kind of wispy side hair looks something like that okay and then zigzag lines um, we looked in the video or sorry the PowerPoint and we saw that he had patterns that were like dark zigzags and that they changed throughout his body that none of them were regular it was irregular pattern okay and so depending on how you do it you know you can color them in a little bit almost like triangles kind of wrapping around his body and we saw that the the zigzags were like coming in from the side of his leg like this so this is kind of an irregular pattern okay and he had them over his face too he had zigzag lines kind of coming down and across his forehead And again, they were irregular. They were not like just straight lines. They were zigzaggy and irregular. And they actually went up over his nose and across his face. So you could do that. Um, you don't need to fill in all of them. Okay, I'm going to leave mine half undone just like that. So you get the idea. And then we'll add those into our painting with a Sharpie when we get to that point. So that kind of concludes how to draw a tiger for our Henry Rousseau painting.